Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton and Staff Reviews. And today, kind of coming off, hot, you know, hot off the heels of my Canamol review, minus the transformation and everything, is the Transformers Prime First Edition Ratchet. Now, I figure I'll go ahead and do a review on this guy again because of the upcoming BotCon release. So, uh, not a bad little ambulance. I mean, very lackluster and something's not right, the wheels aren't touching properly, there we go, but you know just kind of lacking in paint detail, I mean this whole back section right here is just empty, minus the bumper, just a lot of you know what you could have done with this mold is wasted by not painting it, I mean all this detail back here and there's nothing to show for it. You know, not that big of a deal. You got a couple of ports here. I'll get into those later. Really nice glossy paint up here on the front. Just very much kind of looks like his show model. And a couple of other ports up here, I guess. You can use those for robot mode, but they're basically just screw holes. I can plant his weapons from under here. I just went ahead and uh, when I first got this guy, I took a green sharpie and filled that out. And you can put these up here on the front bumper. If you want a ambulance with tusks, you can get that on there. Or you can put them up here if you feel like your ambulance needs to cut through the air. So, I'm just going to get those off for now. But, yeah, as you can see, he rolls in. Kind of a small deluxe, especially for a character like Ratchet, who should be at least a small Voyager or a larger deluxe. But, and a lot of empty open space right here that they could have used for more parts. But, oh, well, it's Hasbro. Can't really expect too much from them. Oh, yeah, I guess you can, but it's not going to happen. But anyway, it's transformation. You just come in here and want to push this up and pop it out we'll release that to snap that up we'll come down here we want to just lift this whole door piece which is all translucent painted plastic away from the fender of the ambulance and just rotate this whole piece I'll just so I can get it. There we go. Just out like that. So on the other side, just so I can get it. There we go. And pop the legs apart. I'll rotate the front of the, or I guess the front wheel around like that. Open up what will be his feet. Then you want to take this tab right here, oh, nope, this one right here, and just slots right into that little space right there. Just like that. Rotate around this way, open that, same on this side. Sorry, I heard a noise. Anyways, back to the transformation. Come down here, rotate these down, pull these out, and just become his arm. Whoa, must be sturdy. The only problem with soft tabs rather than pins is everything likes to fly off. And we'll rotate his hand out and fold this over just like that. Same on this side, fold over, rotate his hand. Then one interesting little thing about his transformation is if you pull this all the way back and it's part of the revealer's gimmick is it's on a spring and just pops up. Fold that back, you got his little backpack. Now you got Ratchet in his robot mode. And you know as far as the mold goes, really nice figure. You know, kind of matches the show model quite a bit. Just needs a couple of antennas coming off the back of the backpack, but 
and the little uh, heart rate thing that they have on the ambulance is just right here on the side of his arm. Other than that, not a bad figure. Uh, weapons, you can put, put them in his hand, just like little daggers, or you can make it look like the show model, like that, which is really cool because they molded in a little spot right there for his thumb. Actually, it would, yeah, on this side is thumb, but over here is knuckle, so it just fits in perfectly and kind of matches up with the rest of this. Again, I say kind of. I'll do the same on the side. I usually have him posed with both of his knives out, or scalpels, or whatever you want to call them. But as far as articulation, his head is on a limited ball joint. Shoulders on a ball joint, rotate 360, up and down, rotates here at the bicep, got a double jointed elbow, I guess I get shoulder bend, and then at the elbow. Uh, it's got waist movement, left right, it does rotate 360, but is very hindered by this little back panel. It's got ball jointed hips, along with a swivel at the thigh, sort of double jointed knees, doesn't go too far, nothing at the waist. Other than that, not a bad figure. You know, fits really well at the prime line, and I cannot wait to get a hold of the collector or the Botcon Cannonball, which, again, just for a little comparison, there they are together in robot mode. So, yeah, I, I think it translates over well with what they're going to be doing. So, again, can't wait. Uh, if you haven't got him already, I, you know, he's not a highly sought after figure, but, you know, if you're collecting the Prime Line, he's probably one of the ones you need to get, especially since he's part of the main cast. So, this is Ben Dalton at Daltonian's TF Reviews. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.